Boker Tov, a good of Vak Mavi, and this is your daily Tanya for Sunday, the 15th of Elul, September the 11th. We pick up in Egress Kodesh, Epistle 15. Previously, this epistle began to explain that since our soul originates from the divine and mirrors it, we can extrapolate from our own soul structure a minuscule perception of the divine structure. In today's lesson, although ashes are from wood, they have lost almost all comparison to the original form. So too is the distance from Avram's love of Hashem, a characteristic of, div of the divine soul and its source, godly love, although our capacity to love Hashem is derived of godly love, it is also so vast reduced in its human expression. However, it is necessary to state first what I heard from my master, Rav Dov Bear, the Magid of Mizrach. Peace be to him on the verse, and I am dust and ashes. Our father, Avraham, peace be to him, said this of the illumination from his soul which radiated in his body from the light of the Supreme Chesed, and that in his attribute, the attribute of Ahava Rabbah, that derived from the parent Sifrael called Chesed of Azilus, for he loved an alternative really, which he loved, the Holy One, blessed be he, with a love so great and sublime that he became a chariot unto the Holy One, blessed be he. Avram's degree of nullification to Hashem was that of a vehicle to its driver, having no independent will whatsoever. This is even greater than the subservience of a slave to his master, for the slave retains a will of his own. Now one might possibly assume that the type of chesed and love as it exists above in the supernal sephirot is of similar nature to the attributes of abundant love exemplified by our father Avram, peace be to him, though surpassing it infinitely. For it is known of the supernal midos attributes that through their mode of emanation is finite. They themselves are essential, essentially without end or limit because the infinite and soft actually radiates and is vested within them. And he and his midos, the kalim of the sifrot, are one. Just as he is infinite, so are they. As regards the soul of man, however, which is vested in the corporality, in man's body, its attributes are finite and limited. Thus, to revert to the above example, it is abundantly clear that the supernal sephirot of the chesed is infinitely loftier and more wondrous than its worldly counterpart, the attribute of chesed, the love of Avram's soul, which is vested within the body. Nevertheless, one might possibly assume that its attributes are of the same type of supernal attributes. This is why he says, I am dust and ashes, that is, like ashes, which are essentially substance of the burned wood. For the wood was previously composed of the four basic elements, fire, air, water, and earth, of which are all matter is compounded. And the three elements of fire, water, and air passed away and were consumed in the smoke that came into the being through their combination, as it is known, as the fourth element of wood, namely its component of earth, which goes downward and does not ascend with the smoke, and over which the fire has no dominion. It is this that remains existence and, constitu and constitu constitutes the ashes. Now the whole of the essence of the wood with its tangible substantiality, which does not result from the fire, water, and air within its matter, and its form of terms of length, width, and density, which were visible to the eye before it was burned, derived basically from the element of earth within it, except that the fire, water, and air were also compounded in it. For earth is the most, is the most material of them all, and all the elements have dimensions of length, width, and density, which is not the case with fire and air. And even with water that does not contain these dimensions appears only sparingly in wood. Thus, as to all the dimensions in wood of length, width, and density, all the earth and all returns to the earth. The ashes that remain after the fire, water, and air have been separated from it. Thus, the ash that remains is what was formerly the essence of the wood. Now, just as there is neither a qualitative or a qualitative resemblance of the proportion between one hand the ashes and the other hand the essence of the tree which was which before the burning had sizable dimensions of length width and density even though it the wood is very in its very essence and substance 
and from it the wood did it, the ash, come to be. Precisely so, metaphorically speaking, did our father Avram peace be him, peace be to him, speak of his distinctive attribute, the attribute of kindness and love which radiate within him and was vested within his body. For though it was this very attribute of love and supreme chesed of a delus that radiated in his soul, which was a chariot of the will of heaven. Nevertheless, it, as it descended downward to vest itself in the body by means of the evolution of the worlds from one level to another by means of many contractions, there was no semblance or proportion between the essence of the light of the love that radiated within him and the essence of the light of the love and supreme chesed of its except of the sort of proportion and semblance that exists metaphorically speaking between the essence and the element of earth which became ashes and its essence and quality in its original state as a tree, pleasant to the sight and good for food. Indeed, the incorporeal of corporeality, the incorporeality of Avram's chesed and the chesed of Atzilus exists, and the incorporeality of the ash and the tree by thousands of degrees of separation. Nonetheless, the Torah speaks of a human phraseology by way of allegory and metaphor. Hence, it is its use of the analogy of the tree despite its inherent disproportion. Surely then, the attributes of the soul powers of an ordinary Jew in the world bear absolutely no comparable relation to the sephiroth from which they derive. Nonetheless, since his soul power do, after all, derive from the sephiroth and are illuminated by them, he can attain some degree of understanding of godliness from the dimensions of the soul that animates his body, and that this is the meaning of the verse, For my flesh shall I behold Hashem. The takeaway for today is, you have similarities to the divine, but remember that your human experience is way limited to the revelation of the divine. Have a great day. Kol Tov. Zai Gezun.